This guy has come from nowhere, and he's professing his faith now. He was with me, you know, a week or so ago, and um, he understands that the evangelicals are crucial to winning this election. If the evangelicals in our country register and turn out to vote, he feels that he will win, and he thinks that's the most important block. What we've seen over the years, over the four, last 30, 40 years, uh, the labor uh, unions have been the backbone of the Democratic Party, the reliable block that this counts for so many votes. Well, the evangelicals have become that same block for the Republicans. They haven't gotten much from it, but it looks like Trump is willing to say, okay, you back me on this, I'm gonna back you and your issues, and uh, I believe him, he looks after his friends. So uh, it's gonna be an interesting thing, but. Uh, you know, Pat, I don't un understand, what? some evangelicals say, well, I'm not gonna vote, but then that's, that's a vote for Hillary. It's if they exactly, don't... you're exactly right. Yeah. If the stay home is a vote for Hillary, yeah. and, uh, or Obama, that's what it is, but uh, uh, they ought to get out, and, but they ought to register. If they can't register, they're, they're not, uh, can't, can't vote. So make sure in this interim period that you get registered. Wherever you are, you are vitally important right now uh, to the future of our country. So don't, don't stay home and don't think, well, I'm gonna be uh, you know, sitting this one out. You can't do it. It's too, you've got the Supreme Court at stake. You've got all the legislation having to do with uh, the, uh, you know, the sexual activity of the United States people, uh, same-sex marriage and all that stuff plus abortion, that's on the table. I mean, very important. If you're interested in guns and the Second Amendment, that's gonna be on the table without question. And you can go right down the list of key issues that are gonna be decided by the Supreme Court. And it's, we're looking at at least two to maybe three uh, vacancies on the court for the next president.